Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to be covering how to install and play games found in the Epic Game Store on Linux. Now, technically, there are two methods you can do this on Linux. So, first is the Heroic Game Launcher, which is a cross platform application that allows you to download and store games found to your Epic Library as well as GOG. Now, this is something that I've covered previously on this channel, however, at times, I found that the application can be buggy and the number of hotfixes that are released does tend to worry me. However, if you want an alternative to the official Epic Games client, then this is probably going to be your best choice. Now, the second method is to use a piece of software called Lutris, and this will actually allow you to install and launch the official Epic Game Store client. And it's what I'm going to be covering in this particular video. So the first step in the process is to ensure that you've installed the latest compatible driver for your graphics card. Now, if you're unsure how to do this, there is a great reference point on the Lutris Wiki, specifically the installing drivers page, and that will cover how to install the latest driver for both NVIDIA and AMD hardware on Ubuntu, Arch, and Fedora-based distributions. In either case, you want to choose the section that applies to your system, and then once you've followed those steps, reboot your system to finish the process. So the second step is to ensure that the Wine compatibility layer is installed on your system, as this is a dependency for running Lutris. And I found that the absolute easiest way to do that is just to install Wine globally using your distribution's package manager. Again, if you're unsure how to do this, it is well documented on the Lutris Wiki, specifically the page called Wine Dependencies, and that will cover the installation method used by Ubuntu, Arch, and Fedora based distributions. Again, follow the instructions that are relevant to your particular installation. Okay, now that your system's running the latest GPU driver, you've got Wine installed, we can finally move on to installing Lutris itself. Now the installation process may vary depending on your particular setup, but in most cases what you'll be doing is installing Lutris using your Linux distribution's package manager. For example, if you've got a Ubuntu based distribution, then you'll typically install Lutris using the dev installation package, whilst if you've got an Arch based distribution, then you've installed Lutris using the terminal. In either case, choose the installation method that matches your Linux distribution, and once you've installed Lutris, launch it as normal from your application launcher. Now, if you get a message about missing DXVK or Wine, then just double check you followed the two previous steps correctly. So with Lutris open to install the Epic Game Store, the first thing we need to do is click on the big plus symbol at the top left. Choose the option here where it says search the Lutris website for installers, and then type in the word Epic Game Store. It should come up with only one result. We want to click on that, then go to the option here and click install. First option you'll hear is where to you want to install it. I tend to just leave that as default, so we'll click continue. And then it's just going to confirm what we're going to be downloading and installing. So to proceed, let's press install again. Now from here it's just a matter of following instructions, but if you do get a prompt to install Wine Mono, then please press yes to confirm this. Now the installation process can take a short while to go through. But just be patient and it eventually will finish. Okay, so the installation process is now finished. So let's click close on that. And then to launch it, unsurprisingly, all you need to do is double click on the option here where it says Epic Game Store. Now you might notice that one of the first loading screens is all a bit scrambled, but this is a, it's just a strange bug with Wine, but it won't affect the performance of any games that you install. So don't worry too much about it. Okay, so now let's sign in with our details. Okay, so one thing you may notice that on your first launch, you will be prompted to install the Epic Games online service. You want to make sure you click OK to do that, as, as a lot of games will require you to have this installed. Now at this point, you're all set up. So all you need to do is download the games as normal, install them, and then just launch them. And with that, you now know how to install Epic Games Store on Linux and play some games. So in conclusion, playing Epic Games on Linux is dead easy. The application itself runs well in Wine, and all multiplayer aspects that are not related to EAC or BattleEye means that games do work out of the box. As always, thank you very much for watching this video, and if you did find this video helpful, then please don't forget to leave a like, share the video, and please subscribe for more content like this in the future. Thanks again, and I'll catch you next time. Bye now!